Good morning, good afternoon, guys, wherever you may be. It is Friday, August 16th, 2024. You ready for the weekend? Hope everyone is prepared for what may come. You just don't know with all the recent world events. There in Taiwan, they've had 26 earthquakes that they are reporting. Um, they had a magnitude 6.1 earthquake last night um, in the evening, our time. It was uh, 14 kilometers in depth or 8.7 miles in depth. It was felt across a very wide area. Japan, the Philippines, of course, Taiwan and China. The earthquake was uh, 21 miles off of Taiwan, eastern city of Haiwan, um, Friday, our time, I guess. Uh, the Weather Administration said there was no reports from damage. What was the second strongest tremor to hit the island in less than a day? The quake also shook buildings in the capital of Taipei. An or authority said that subway service um, were reduced to lower speeds. Um, they also, was it Japan or was it Taiwan, put out a report that they were expecting a larger earthquake. And for the week after that earthquake, everything would be, uh, all the trains would be slowed down for a week. There has more, been more earthquakes in the last 10 years than any other year so far. Yeah, earthquakes are increasing around the world. Let's see, where's that earthquake at? Oh, was it the 7.4 that I reported? I haven't put this earthquake yet on the map. Let's see, when was that 7.4? Um, April 2nd. Okay, that's probably not the one they were talking about. Um, yeah, April 3rd. Let me close this out. This image here is from the uh, Taiwan government showing all the recent earthquakes. And don't be deceived. This is uh, the intensity level for their location that they put these at. Let me bring it over. So some of the earthquakes they recently had was a 3.7, a 4.2, a 3.3, another 3.3, a 4.0, 3.9, um, a 3.7, 3.8, 3.8. Um, a 4.2, another 4.2, another 3.9, a 4.8, a 4.5, um, a 4.6, and a 6.3. Um, I counted within the last 24 hours, um, I believe it was 26 earthquakes. And they gave an intensity level of 4 for how they rate earthquakes there in Taiwan. They are warning people there could be more earthquakes within a week, uh, maybe a magnitude 5 or slightly larger. And as you know, any earthquake could be a foreshock for something much larger. This was, in fact, a thrust earthquake. There was no tsunami warning. Um, the first wave of the earthquake came basically from the southeast, and tension is still in that location. There was a 5.4 before this 6.1, so that very well could have been a foreshock. Intensity level 5. Here's the location of that 5.4. Let me bring this out. Let's see. And down over here, yeah, there's the 6.1. Let me bring it out a little farther. 5.4, 6.1. Here we got, um, let's see, what is this? Yeah, I did do a report about this. That's the uh, Nankai Trough. The Nankai Trough, or the Southern Sea Trough, is a submarine trough located south of um, the region of Japan's island of Honshu, extending approximately 900 kilometers or 559 miles offshore. The underlying fault um, is a mega thrust fault and is a source of a lot of mega thrust earthquakes. This trough marks the location of the subduction of the Philippine Sea Plate beneath Japan. Let me show it goes all the way up over here. Right there. We got the Philippine Sea Plate 
and the East China Sea Plate. And then, yeah, with the Philippine Sea Plate all through here. Yeah. A lot of motorists there in Japan actually pulled over and stopped their cars because, you know, the roads were shaking so bad. And the government even sent out earthquake warnings for those along the coast. There was a magnitude 5.7 earthquake that rattled eastern Taiwan at 5.06 p.m. on Thursday, um, August 15th. That was probably, I bet you that was an, um, a foreshock. Yeah. Now in April, on the 2nd, there was a magnitude 7.4. Um, it was the biggest earthquake to affect Taiwan in at least 25 years. Yes, yeah, sad to say that nine people were killed and more than 900 injured. So here on EMSE is some of the reports that were sent in to them. Yeah, I like it when people send in reports to the European Seismological Society because we can actually get good reports of what they felt, how long it lasted. Uh, USGS does not do that. But here we got from Taiwan, slow lump, rumble, but definitely noticeable. Did not last long. Stronger and longer than yesterday's one. Mother Nature just reminding us it's her planet. There was shaking, but nothing fell. Let's see, and that was 140 kilometers northwest. So that would be about 87 miles. Um, another one just, yeah, it occurred at 7.36 a.m. local time. Okay, strong shake from Taipei. My body was moving left and right on the bed. I've talked about how long the shaking could last and how, because of the vertical movement back and forth, how some earthquakes you could actually be moving um, nine feet back and forth. So it would be interesting to know how much he was moving. Um, strain shaking for about 20 seconds. Heard the government alert. And then the shaking started. for a small rolling and then it picked up. Intensity, however, did not feel as big as yesterday's. Well, that's because you weren't as close <laughs> to that one. Another one said um, a strong shake. And then the last one says light. On ceiling moved um, apartment moved a bit uh, five to ten seconds no damage USGS gave it an intensity level of five felt by most people there would have been some breakage of dishes but I didn't see any reports about that but it probably did happen windows and plasters um, probably got cracks in the walls disturbance of tall objects so intensity level five for those that sent in reports would have been a, between a 3.5 and a 4 for what they felt. So going back to the felt reports, yeah, further up, higher on the mountains, intensity level 5. They probably got some landslides going on here. Somewhere up over here was um, the 5.7, I believe. And they don't show um, the felt reports that came from either... Oh, they do have one for China. Okay, my mistake. Intensity level 3. There's one for China. But I don't see anything marked for um, Japan or North Korea. Yeah, just that one report from China. From what I remember about the other report where they um, slowed down the trains for about a week and they issued the warning that larger quakes could be coming. I'll have to go back and look at my reports. I do so many earthquake reports. I lose track of which one was what. Yeah, but like I said, uh, there was another geologist when I did the report for uh, the quake swarm in Las Vegas saying how earthquakes are increasing around the world. Um, yeah, a lot more earthquakes this year than they've ever had in the last 10 years of recording earthquakes. Sending prayers. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.